So you want to make some hats for Pikachu. Because as we all know, TF, I mean, Melee needs more hats. Um, so, opening the blend file, which is a 2.49b blend file. It's an older version, but it's my preferred version of Blender. You'll see, there are your three hats. And also, a template of an edited Brawl model of Pikachu, which was exported by TCLL, thank you for that. Um, that I edited to be more like the model of Pikachu in Melee. But you have to take it with a grain of salt, it's not perfect. Um, like, it's not the exact same model as Melee is what I'm saying. Basically, okay, so here are your three hats. I assume you know a bit about Blender when you're doing this, by the way. I'm not going to go into the details. Uh, the thing about the red and the green hat is, they have some loose vertices on the top that aren't connected to anything. Those vertices are used for showing it in out of bounds. If you really want to edit them, you can, but I can't even get them to look proper because basically the out of bounds hat shares some vertices with the normal hat and it's really complicated to edit if I was to do that for you, so just ignore them, I guess. You have to live with a lousy looking hat out of bounds. So, but the blue hat doesn't have that, which is nice because it's the crappiest looking hat and probably the one you'd want to edit the most. What also makes the blue hat special is it's in two parts. You can separate the white from the blue and it'll be fine. There you go, see? Perfect. Oh yeah, also, the thing I'm going to do is, if you want to be professional about it, you want to snap everything to a grid when you're moving it out of the way so you can perfectly move it back to its origin later. You do that by holding down control while moving things. So anyway, let's uh, give him a quick hat. Let's give him a toad hat or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's really real. Um. Okay, he's got a plate on his head, I guess. Just to show that you can, you can, you don't have to change the entire object all at once. You can edit diff individual vertices. Um. Yeah. See, I just moved a couple by themselves. So now he really does look like he has a plate on his head. And we will select this party hat. And make it look like a spoon, I guess. Ah, great. Just a second. Sorry, I selected it. There it goes. Um, well, okay, making it look like a spoon will take too long, so we'll just... Make it look like a needle instead. Oh, well, yeah, um, something I should mention, actually, that's important. You can never, ever delete vertices or add them while doing this. You can only move the vertices that are existed. If you were to do that, then it would not export properly, and you'd have to start all over again, or from the, from the point where you added a vertice. You really don't want to be doing that. So anyway, here we are. Made a hat. Kind of crappy. Select the hat, go File, Export. Wavefront.obj, give it a name, call it 2, 2.obj. Now this part is really important. Deselect edges, deselect materials, UVs, and NURBS. You only want to have selection only, rotate X90, and keep vert order selected when you export it. And then you can press export. There you go. So now I have a file, and I'm going to stop Cam Studio before it crashes again. So here we have our file. You want to open up, oh, this is just an older version I was working on. You want to open up the blend file, I mean the object file you just exported. And you want to delete the first two lines, notice they'll have hash before them. It's just a signature bl Blender leaves when it exports objects. Um, now the program won't read those because different programs have different signatures, I figured it'd just be easier to remove the signature altogether. So anyway, I remove those two lines, I open Vert Convert, a program of my creation for doing this sort of thing. Press N, then input the name of your file, then input the name of your Apple, I'll just call it 2.txt. And there we go. Open it, and here is your hex. You copy it, and you open up whichever file that you wanted. Um, so I'm using Pikachu Blue, and you'll notice in the folder I've given you, it, it has the originals. 
and it also has the edited ones that I uploaded to Smashboards a while ago. So you take Pikachu Blue Original, then and this applies this offset applies to every single one of the different colored hats. You go to 30B0 offset and hex, and that's the offset for the hat. And coincidentally, every single file has the same offset for the hat, but the hats all different have different lengths, so I don't know. It's probably intentional. Anyway. 30B0, so I've copied the hex, I press Ctrl B, and this is a H HXD hex editor shortcut for paste insert, or is it, no, paste overwrite, you can't paste insert, you can't like change the length of the file, you have to overwrite it. So yeah, I use HXD because it's the best for doing this, um, some other hex editors won't let you do this, or some other hex editors won't let you paste the entire thing you copied, like it only lets you paste a segment of it but HXD is good, it lets you do all of it. So you save that as, and we'll call it peekaboo plate dot dat, or dot dt, whatever. The extension doesn't really matter, GC Rebuilder doesn't mind. So yeah, here we are, GC Rebuilder, open up your ISO, you know how to do that. Um, select Pikachu Blue. Yeah, another thing I should mention, you can't paste the blue hat into like the green file, that won't work, it'll just look horrible or it'll crash it. So anyway, Pikachu Blue, import, and we'll import Pikachu Blue plate. Boom, done. And let's see what it looks like. That's actually, that's it. That's all you needed to do. We'll open up Dolphin, just to show you what I did. And heads up, this could crash it. Yay! We both have plates with little lines on them. Isn't that great? So yeah, congratulations. Now Pikachu has a new hat. We could use more of those. We really could. Just something worth noting. Um, these Notice that the hats are textured, but kind of strangely. Um, the reason being is I had to texture them from scratch. Like, I don't mean to create the textures. I mean uh, texture map them from scratch. And as such, it's not the exact textures Melee uses. So if you, if you have some really detailed textures, they might look off. And that's especially evident with the party hat, though I've already edited it, you can't see that, but... So yeah, don't uh, don't expect the textures to line up exactly how you expect them to. Except for the red one. The red one's sort of okay, except for the bottom part. And I believe that is it. Enjoy your hat creation.